In this video, I try out my new wheel and it sort of goes a little bit wrong. But speaking of wrong, we have carnage at the chicane because of course we do here at the Nürburgring. Hello everyone and welcome back to a Gran Turismo video in the present day. Yes, right, I'm fully back off holiday. And in fact, this video is all about what you can see in that bottom left hand side. It's a new wheel, yes. So if you hadn't known or hadn't seen the stream previously, uh, we've got a new wheel. Moses sent me over their wheel to review. Now, you're probably first saying the R5, which is the one I've got, does it work on PlayStation? No, it doesn't. I've had to buy an adapter for it to work on PlayStation, but I only accepted the review because of that. It's mainly for ACC in terms of what they wanted, uh, but we're going to be playing both because that's what we do. We play Gran Turismo and ACC. So I jumped straight into this race. Literally, I fitted it the night before, jumped straight into this race after making sure it at least worked. And uh, this is me getting used to it as somebody doesn't get used to it there as they go towards that left. In fact, they've come back on circuit right behind me then. So they've not lost too much there as Opti Boss. So hang on, let me zoom in a little bit here. Opti Bose uh, as we continue on in to the left hander. So I'll talk about the wheel in a little bit. Let's get used to the racing first of all. And we go into the right hander nearly into Suka there or Chusak. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, continue on out of there. We're in the RCZ for this first race. I do switch my car for the second race, though, uh, because I think that Porsche is slightly better. Now, some of you have been wondering, where on earth the weekly race guide has been this week? But if you didn't know, I was on holiday, so I have now returned. And the weekly race guide will be back. That's the first weekly race guide I've missed in three years, I think it is, or something like that. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I've missed the odd one here and there, but... Like, literally, I hardly ever miss them as we see somebody there in an RCZ going very slowly, so up another position. So I do apologize for that, but you do need a break sometimes, and this is my hobby, so I went away, enjoyed some time off. Raced in a... Well, I didn't race in it. I drove round in a buggy, a jet ski, and I've done that before, and uh, also hired a car, and went on a bit of adventure in Cyprus. Right, okay, here we go. Then we've got a bit of an adventure here. So we've got two penalties. We've got another one going very slowly there. Up into P11. They're not doing too shabby so far as we head in to the chicane for the first time here at the Nürburgring, the full GP circuit. So I don't know the strategy here, and I noticed everybody starts going in on the hard tyres. So now I know that it's just basically a pit on a lap one or a lap nine, depending on what you want to do. Um, so continue on out of there. We're going to see how we go in this race all the same in this RCZ. The Porsche are definitely looking like the stronger car, though, based on the fact that everybody's picking it, and the cars behind me are really doing very well indeed. Uh, and I am struggling there a little bit. I've got to be honest with you. I started this race, zero practice, new wheel, um, and I really did struggle. I really did struggle. It felt like it was a bit off or weird, but of course it's a new wheel. Got a new alignment in there as well. So we see the Porsche down the inside, then into the bus stop chicane. Gets it done there. Beautiful stuff here. Now, I know the Porsche was going to go for the cut back, so I sort of let them go here as I wanted to go into the pits and get onto the medium tyres. So, yeah, it's a direct drive wheel. I've gone from, obviously, the TGT to this Moza R5 then. I've got it for review, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The review is going to be in five weeks' time, or at least five weeks' time. I spend a good four weeks using a wheel before I review it because you have the honeymoon period, as I would like to call it, where you first try a wheel and you think, oh, yeah, it's amazing. Oh, it does this. Oh, it does that. Uh, but it's only after a month where you really can get some feedback in terms of um, whether it's going to break or whether anything goes wrong. Speaking of going wrong, I've gone wrong at the chicane there. Round I go. I'm going to lose some position. So again, this is just me getting used to the wheel. It, it really is me getting used to the wheel. Don't worry, I do pick up the speed here a little bit, folks. Don't panic at all with that as we go through the right-hander and leave that corner. Weird. It's like really weird understeer. Maybe it's just the car. I don't know. So you heard some feedback there as I was racing. Uh, I was feeling, especially in turn one there, I had some weird understeer. Now, I don't know if it's a wheel or the car because obviously I've not done the combo. So it's literally a case of trying to get used to it. I did cut the chicane there. You may have noticed that. So I am going to get served a 0.5 penalty, which is fair enough, to be honest with you, as we fast forward here and continue towards lap number seven. Where somebody's going out the pits. Very early pit stop for this driver then, who are on mediums. Three second penalty in terms of the pit line as well, pit lane line. As we go through here, they just leave me just enough room here. So I stick on the outside. They try and boost it very quickly on the hard tyre. Not going to work out there. So we gain that position. And you're probably wondering why I can't get the radar on. Well, again, because it's not an official wheel for PlayStation, it's, uh, I'm trying to work out how to get it on as we see somebody binning it there and trying to get back on circuit. So I do work it out for the next race. I just don't know how to do it on this race because it's basically a G29. So oh, hello, we're zooming in here because there's a little bit of RG bargy going on there. The Aston sends off there. That's Specs underscore 92. And Osa Base uh, carries on. Not sure what's happening there. Looks a bit fishy to me. 
as we start lap number 10 then as we head towards turn one this is where you expect the medium runners to go onto the hard tyres we overtake the Dutchman there up to Bose in towards turn number one and we slow it down indeed so yeah this wheel very hard at first race this I must say it really was hard for me just to try and get used to it as I go through the right hander going to continue on out of there oh a little bit of Oz there try and catch it oh, oh what am I doing what am I doing yeah, what am I doing? Because that is not how you drive a car. That is early morning as well, so do bear with me there and zero practice. Not the greatest thing. New wheel, early morning, zero practice. Not the best combo. Make sure you practice before you join the race. Uh, but I'm definitely feeling like I'm going a bit slower here. Oh, hello, dirt on my tyres. Definitely feel like I'm a bit slower than I was on my TGT, which is to be expected. New piece of hardware. I have to get used to it. So I actually finished all the way towards the back there. Not a strong lobby either. No offense to drivers in here, but obviously I'm an A-plus driver and there's not very many A-pluses there. So, um, you know, I need to do better. I decided to go in the Porsche and I exited the pits in the second race in the warm-up and I noticed everybody on hards. Absolutely everybody apart from one driver on hard. So it's like, okay, well, that's obvious to me. Let's go on the mediums. So that's what I did as we kick off at this race then. In the Porsche this time, uh, the subscribe graphic just on there. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. We're on our journey to 40k. Every little helps in that support. We do have a 40k special plan, so if you do want to see that, please do join the channel. Say we do lots of Grand Turismo and ACC stuff, and obviously we get some reviews here and there and everywhere, as we will do with the re wheel review in five weeks' time. So up into P14 there. A little bit of argy-bargy behind, but we're up into P14, so making ground already. An unusual car up ahead, a BMW M3. Well, you don't see that very often, do you? As we go into the right, going to try and get alongside him very quickly. I know most of these drivers are on that harder tyre. So I'm like, well, okay, I need to make as many positions as I can while also being a bit safe here. As you see, everybody side by side. Bet, look at this. This is insane action up ahead. Everybody side by side. Beautiful stuff then as we go through the right hander. Up into P13 and we get past that BMW. And we have a whole load of Porsches up ahead. We really do. As we head towards the hairpin then. And in we go. You can still see this big pack of cars. This is good. I like this. I really do like this. As I go through the right hand there. Continue on out there. Oh, a bit of argy bargy. So a bit of smoke there. A bit of contact up ahead. I think it involved the Lamborghini. You can see in the distance. We go into the left hander here of the Schumacher S. And the right part of it as well. Through we go. We've got a slow car here. Face this Chris. Where to go? I wasn't sure here. So I sort of just backed out of it a little bit. As we head into the left-hander. Apologies there. I've got to get used to commentating again after a week's break. As we go into the right-hander then. Around the outside of the Porsche driver. Continue on out there. Oh, we have to lift off there. Chris just tapped a little bit here. Going to cost us a position to the BMW. And it's slowing us down here massively now. We've got also somebody taking a penalty there. Who is that? That's Jack Naomo then. So we overtake the RCZ then. As we head in towards the braking zone again. Look at this. Everybody going very slowly indeed. Contact there. Somebody off. Somebody got reset there as well. The BMW off this time. And I know everybody's going to be heading towards that right-hand side for the pits. So this is our chance then to start really trying to overtake everybody doing that old alternative strategy that i like doing and continue on out of there then so we continue then into lap two position seven so we're getting a lot here not beginning up here gets the schumacher s all sorts of wrong then as we look to catch up to them as we head into the left hander then so i know they're gonna have to on their tires after cutting so much of it as we come through here they'll just get a whole load of overs there gonna get down that inside very quickly up into P6. And we do have TCR members in here. We've got Karma D Gaming. Shout out to you and Bembo Baggins there up ahead. Shout out to both of you then as we advance to lap number four. Well, I'm going to talk about the wheel a little bit here. I'm one of my faster laps. So obviously, I started to pick up the pace, started to get used to the wheel. And it's going to take me some time to get used to the wheel. You've got to remember this. If you get a new piece of hardware, you're not going to instantly be fast. You know, if you get a low cell brake, you're not going to be faster. You're going to be slower, even though it is a better brake. Now, I'm not using a low cell brake. I'm still using a brake, which is measuring distance. However, it's using a different type of sensor called a hull sensor. And I actually really like the pedals. I've got to be honest. Early impressions of the pedals are really good. Really, really, really good. Now, the wheel, obviously, it's not fully supported. So I'm using an adapter there. I can't fully give my opinion yet. But I would say I do get feeling in the wheel. I've had to turn the sensitivity all the way up, which is what reviews say about it when using the adapter. But I do have feeling in there and it does feel good. Very much none of the notchiness that you get with belt driven or gear driven wheels. It's very much smooth as you turn. It's really nice, really nice indeed as we head down here. So you can see we're up on the lap, fastest lap here. Definitely 55 possible for me now in the Porsche after going through here. You can see we're going to be up a little bit more then, which puts us on a 56 1. Um, and yeah, we're going to continue on here as we go through the Schumacher SN and up here. 
So, so far, early impressions are very good. There will be a full review. I have done some filming for it already. I've got lots of notes written down with the good parts and the bad parts. There's been some bad parts already. There's also been some very good parts as well. The whole idea here is to give you the impression because this is a very good value wheel. In fact, I think Fanatec have just come out with an even better valued wheel. So I don't know what's happening there. Maybe they've seen the competition of Moser and gone and gone. This is a good wheel. Could we uh, actually compete there? I'm not too sure. Maybe I can try and get hold of one of them and do a comparison. Who knows? But we are going to be testing the Moser wheel out for a month and then seeing it. And uh, if it's a wheel I really like, I'll continue to use it as my daily driver. Otherwise, we'll have a look at a different wheel as well. I'll tell you all that information. So you can see we made a couple of mistakes in that lap. This is going to be our fastest lap with 56.4. Definitely a whole load of time in there. We could definitely get into the 55s. We advanced to lap 10 where we've come just around the pits here. Doing that alternative strategy and it's worked out wonders. We've overtaken absolutely everybody. Remember, we were down in P14, I think it was, P15, when everyone went in the pits. And we're up into P3 here as we enter the final chicane then through the left and the right. So I am slower than I am normally, folks. While I am washed, I'm even more washed at the moment in terms of trying to get used to this wheel. But I will get used to it and I will see how we go as we leave that final corner. I'm going to head towards the line, finishing in P3. A much better race here from me in the Porsche. Definitely worked out well. Just saw your flashing there, Karma. Shout out to you there. Brilliant racing at the end. I'm Bembo there as well. And a stronger lobby there as well. More A pluses. So that was good to actually get a good feeling for the car. I definitely have more pace in the wheel. And as I say, do expect to review in the future. At least five weeks from now, it could be six weeks. But we do a four weeks performance review just to get a full feeling of the wheel. That is it in terms of this video, though. Good little tester of the races. Weekly Race Guides back tomorrow. So do make sure you subscribe for that. Two videos there to check out. And I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope to see you in another video. I'll live stream again very soon.